Can you think of a more overpowered combo than 50 shot capacity at 300 feet per second on full auto? Because I can't. What's up nerfers? Today I'm taking a look at the new half-length dark compatible 3D printed mythical drum magazine from Singapore designer Ezekiel. You can buy the physical version of this for 90 Singapore dollars, or alternatively you can buy the internals and print the externals yourself for 70 Singapore dollars. Find both options at the links down below. The MDM can hold 51 darts or more depending on your particular configuration. And it can keep up with feeding a blaster 125 darts per second, as you can see in this video clip that Ezekiel sent me with the mag lips removed at the top. Now, I don't have anything that can shoot anywhere near that fast, but it does work absolutely flawlessly with my Sweetheart Storm AEG on full auto. Now, this might be a bit of a bummer to some of you, but the MDM does come disassembled, and users have to put it together themselves. So I'm going to break down today's video into three different parts, assembly, loading, and then at the very end, I'm going to have some fun testing it out. Now, when I say assembly, I don't mean for this to replace Ezekiel's PDF build guide. In fact, that's what I'm following to assemble mine. Rather, I just want to give you an idea of the complexity of the MDM so that you can better make up your mind of whether it's for you or not. To quickly access the PDF guide, just scan the QR code found on the label of the packaging, and then just scroll down and click on the assembly manual. Kicking things off though, this part here is called the Talon Straight. There's three different sizes you can choose from, but for most blasters, you'll use the short one that I have here on the left. This is 100 millimeters long, and it's the one that'll work in most blasters. The one on the right is the longest one at 150 mil. And there's also a medium length one I don't have here, which is 125 mil. The two longer ones are basically just for mag and grip blasters or things with say a vector body kit on them where you need that extra length. The different Talon Straights will also to come with different length mag followers to suit them. When you first get your talons straight, you'll actually need to glue it together. Just run some super glue along the outer edges and push the two halves together. For now, I'll leave these aside to dry and move on to the rear half of the drum. From here, you want to install this locking detent, which later on in the build, when it all comes together, will offer a way to store the drum fully loaded without putting any squeeze pressure on your darts, thus avoiding deforming the foam. One other step to do first up is apply silicon oil to the edge surface of the drum's rear spiral. That's because the star follow will actually rub along that spiral as it feeds the darts, and oiling it will make it go faster. Now moving on to the front of the drum, you need to position the spring hook into the slot on the drum and then place it on a flat surface. Push the wire strap down and off to release the drum spring into the drum. For this step, I would definitely recommend referring to the pictures in the PDF format. Once the drum spring's installed though, screw on the front logo plate, and just like with the rear half of the drum, apply generous amounts of silicon oil to the edge surface of the spiral. Now line up and attach the star follower to the center where you just put the drum spring. Thanks to some crafty 3D designing, it only goes in one way, so you won't have any issues with that. Put some more silicon oil around the center of the star follower just to help it glide more freely, especially if you're using high rate of fire blasters. You should also test the star follower by rotating it about a quarter turn and then releasing. If you've installed it correctly, it should spin back to where it started when you let go. From here, you need to connect the rear and front halves of the drum together. You also have to sandwich the locking lever I mentioned earlier in the video. In the full auto mag dump that you saw at the start of this very video, I had left the drum loaded from the night before, and thanks to the locking lever, it didn't crush the darts at all and it fed absolutely fine. At the bottom of the drum, install a shock absorbing crumple zone, which Ezekiel says will protect the drum mag from a fall of up to 2 meters in height. Also, add one shorter screw into the remaining hole on the right of the drum mag. From here, attach the loading key, click the button on the side of it to make sure the drum is reset to neutral, and then turn the key 12 clicks clockwise. Now, if you pay attention to the arms on the star follower, one of them looks a little bit different to the others and has five notches in it. Rotate the loading key to the right until it reaches the loading door in the side. 
In the PDF file, this is called arm number one. With arm number one of the star follower aligned with the loading door, insert the expanding follower, white end first, paying attention to the wider nub on this one than the other that'll go in the talon straight in the next step. The red end should sit against the arm one of the star follower. Now, the next step was quite annoying for me. If you have a longer Allen key, you may find it more fun of a time doing this, but you need to insert the other expanding follower plus the mag follower into the talon straight and then bolt it onto the drum. There's two bolts on the back, but where I ran into issues was reaching the bolts on the side closest to the loading door. After about 10 minutes, I had the talon straight attached securely from both the front two bolts and the rear two. But yeah, if you have a longer Allen key, you'll be able to reach it much easier. The final step is to install the loading door on the side. It simply takes two grub screws with a slightly smaller Allen key than what you've used for the entire rest of the build. Once that's installed though, remove the loading key and gaze upon your finished creation. Now, if you thought assembly was difficult, next I'm gonna show you loading. There are directions written in logo form on the talon straight itself. And once you've loaded the drum a few times, it becomes easy to remember what these logos mean as a quick reference. But your first time, like many other things in life, you're just not gonna know exactly what to do. When loading the drum, you can actually break part of the drum, particularly the springs of the followers. So please make sure you pay attention to the important instructions page of the manual, because you can irreversibly damage the springs of the expanding followers, and you'll turn your drum into a complete paperweight. Step one of loading the drum, attach the loading key. You simply line up the metal posts in the base of it with the center of the drum, and then the two holes further out on the drum. Rotate the loading key to the right until the red bottom part of the expanding follower lines up with the asterisk symbol on the loading key. From here, load in 10 darts to the talon straight like it was a standard nerf mag. If you're using longer talon straights, follow the number it says on it instead, which will be 12 darts or 14 darts respectively. Once you have the darts inserted, turn the loading key two clicks to the right, watching carefully that none of the springs get caught up on the star follower arms because this is a step where you could potentially damage your MDM. After two clicks to the right, load two more darts into the top of the talon straight. And now you're gonna need something long like a screwdriver or an Allen key to slot into this hole below the talon straight. And you'll be slotting it between the red of the expanding follower and the darts in the talon straight. From here though, loading becomes very easy Easy to do. Rotate the loading key three clicks to the right, then open the loading door by pulling on it and sliding it out of the way. Load in three darts, then rotate the key two clicks to the right, making sure the darts don't fall out of the loading door while you turn it. You should be able to just hold your hand there and stop it, but if you have trouble, maybe just close the loading door entirely. From here on though, it's just going to be repetition. Load in three more darts and turn two clicks to the right over and over. And eventually you'll have done this 11 times, or if you don't want to bother counting, instead watch to see when the red expanding follower reaches the padlock symbol on the loading key at the center of the spiral. Now engage the tension relieving lock by giving the loading key some pressure to the right and sliding the screw down and pushing the locking lever in place. Finally, remove the screwdriver or whatever you use to hold the darts in the talon straight and then top it off with three more darts. Remove the loading key and congratulations, you have successfully loaded the MDM. To use it in your blaster, all you need to do now is insert it like a normal magazine, hit the lock to add tension back into it, and then just fire your blaster 51 times to empty it. Now, as challenging as it might sound, I did manage to think of some tests to do with the MDM. At first, I thought, it's just a magazine. What can I really show you? Well, first of all, after that long loading process, I wanted to compare loading the MDM against loading four Talon mags with the same number of darts. Feel free to skip ahead any time, but I'm not gonna speed up or edit anything out of this. Here's me loading the MDM from empty. Just a heads up, it was like my second time loading the mag, and I didn't realize that you can actually just leave the loading door open and hold your hand in front of it. So I'm definitely taking longer here than I should. Let's start. Put this piece in. Make sure that's reset. Rotate until red is lined up with that. Put in 10 darts. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rotate it twice, I think. Yep. 
put the pin in. All right, pin is in. Three clicks now. One, two, three. Load in three darts. One, two, three. You need to close this door each time or the darts will come out. One, two. Load in three more darts. Come on, come on. On the clock here. One, two. One, two. One, two. If I just hold this closed and turn it. One, two. All right, that's slightly faster. One, two. Load in. Three darts and just keep repeating. One, two. One, two. One, two. Almost near the end. We've got one more set to load after this one. One, two. Going straight. Now, what's it say to do? It's at the lock now. Remove the pin. And put three more darts in the top. Okay, so that was a pretty slow time of 4 minutes and 31 seconds. I have managed to beat it since by not closing the loading door at all and instead putting my hand there to make sure no darts come out. In opposition to that time saved though, if you accidentally drop a dart down into the center of the drum mag, expect to spend ages trying to get it back out. That happened to me in a later attempt and it was an absolutely miserable task trying to retrieve the dart. Now though, let's load up four talent mags and time how long that takes. Loading up six darts into the first one, so we end up with a total of exactly 51 darts, the same capacity as the MDM. Start the clock. Six in this mag. Fifteen into the rest of the mags. Thank you. 
onto the second mag already. Last mag, 15 shots. Beautiful. That was much faster, only a minute 23. I don't know if anywhere else is like this, but sometimes we only have a few minutes to reload before the next round of gameplay starts. So in a stressful situation like that, where you want to also have a drink of water and a rest, standard Talon mags are definitely faster to load than the MDM. But what can you do if you didn't fully empty the MDM in your gameplay? and you just want to top it off with a few darts. Well, basically, you just want to insert the screwdriver into that same hole as normal when you load it, but make sure there are no more than three darts to the right of that screwdriver inside the star follower. If that requires you to remove a dart or two from the talon straight, just do it. From there, just attach your loading key, turn until an empty slot aligns with the loading door and put in three darts. And then just repeat the standard two clicks load three, until the red expanding follower reaches the padlock on the loading key. Remove the screwdriver, Remove the loading key, top off the talon straight, and you're ready to go again. For my final test, sure, the MDM is slower to load than regular talons, but how about emptying? I think you've all seen this blaster before, the Sweetheart Storm AEG. It shoots an average of 300 feet per second, and it can fire seven darts per second on a full charge of the battery. So very simply, let's time how long it takes to mag dump the MDM versus reloading four different talon mags of 51 shots. Now, before I begin this firing demo, I should just mention this is not an accuracy test by any means of the storm because I have pretty much every type of nerf dart that I own in this drum and some of them are worse than others. Anyway, let's let off that lock. The mag is now primed and ready to fire. Let's see how we do. I have one dart left in it. One dart for some reason. But it fired 50 shots continuously at 300 feet per second. That's unfair. But now, let's see how long it takes me to do that with Talon mags. Okay, so the Talons only took 20 seconds to mag dump, but the MDM has them beat with a time of only 8 seconds. Not sure why the MDM had one dart remaining, it was sitting a bit too low down in the Talon straight for the pusher of my blaster to reach it. I couldn't seem to repeat that issue either in further testing, but still, 50 shots in 8 seconds all at 300 feet per second. I'm not sure in what scenario you'd need that, or whether it constitutes a war crime. But there you go. That, my fellow nerfers, is what the mythical drum mag from Ezekiel is capable of. Well, actually, it can feed way faster than my blaster can fire, but still, having 50 sh or 51 shots without needing to reload is like having some kind of infinite ammo cheat for nerf. Especially when you're using it in something like the Sweetheart Storm, where you're only really using it on semi-auto anyway. Honestly, that'd last me an entire 15 minute game, as I normally only go through about 2 or 3 talons by the end of 15 minutes. If you need more than 50 shots in a round though, being a drum mag, there's not really an easy way to carry spares on you like with 
with regular Talon Mags. And given the $90 price tag, most people wouldn't want more than one of these. So if you do often go through more than 50 shots in a game, I suggest using the MDM as your starting mag, and then putting it down somewhere safe when empty and swapping to regular Talons for the rest of the match. Being 3D printed, I'd be very careful not to put it down somewhere in the sun, or that plastic could melt or warp, and also avoid putting it anywhere that people could potentially step on it. Overall though, Ezekiel has created what many thought was impossible, a half-length dart drum that works exceptionally well and even exceeds the feed limitations of most blasters, being capable of an astonishing 125 rounds per second, as you can see in this clip here where he made one without any mag lips and just let it feed itself out. Flywheel nerfers will love this, AEG nerfers will love this, and HPA nerfers will love this too. Every type of user could love something like this. Having to assemble it yourself though can be a daunting task. I know I kept putting it off until the last minute. I had this sitting on my workbench for a couple of weeks before I actually felt up to assemble it. Loading it also takes longer than putting the same amount of darts into standard Talon magazine, so is this for everyone? Absolutely not. Is it a brilliant creation that does what it's sought out to do and exceeds expectations? Absolutely. You can see all the thoughtful decisions Ezekiel put into this, such as the tension lock so you don't crush all your darts leaving it loaded overnight. I'm sure Ezekiel has multiple of these that he has access to, so I'm sure he could just load up something like eight of these the night before a game and he wouldn't even have to reload a single mag for the entire event. Also, the little logos on the Talon straight, those are really useful out in the field to remind you the loading set. How cool are they? If you want a half length drum mag that holds 50 plus shots and can work in any of your talent compatible nerf blasters, here it is, the mythical drum mag. First of its kind. Find it at Ezekiel's website at the link down below. And I'd love to hear what my fellow nerfers think of it. Will you be getting one of these or would you prefer to stick with your standard talent magazines? Does the price put you off a bit or maybe the complexity of it does? Maybe you'd buy one of these if it was injection molded rather than printed. Let me know in the comments down below. Consider giving this video a like or a dislike to let me know what you thought of it. Here's two other videos you might enjoy. And as always, thank you very much for watching. See ya.